I'm Danny with BuyRadarDetectors.com, here today with Bob Rosagna. Bob is the president and head of product development with Vail Corporation. And uh, if you saw our previous video, we talked about laser guns, mm -hmm. and I uh, want to get your thoughts on radar guns as well. I thought it would be, be a good topic sure. for discussion uh, here. Radar guns, just like laser guns, have evolved, uh -huh. gotten smaller, less powerful by design. And uh, for example, here I have a gun here called the Falcon HR, which is a K-band gun. And I think K-band is going to be uh, have a good resurgence because of K-band is so often used with collision avoidance systems. Uh -huh. It's not uncommon for your detector to go off, or they are filtering heavily uh, to minimize those uh, alerts. And you know, you get so a gun like this. So K-band was kind of falling off for years, and and it being replaced with KA, right? And well, I, I think that depends on the market. Like Pennsylvania, uh -huh. all they use is K-band. They've done that for decades. They're continuing to use it. So uh, they don't use laser in Pennsylvania. They don't use KA in Pennsylvania. So no, I think, you know, K has, and you have to remember too, uh, police departments make a substantial investment or states, state troopers make substantial investments into equipment. So you'll often see K-Ban. I mean, uh, a couple of years ago, actually, when I was coming up to you, I guess it was three years ago, mm -hmm. I was going through Georgia, and they're pretty heavily patrolling on the state line from Florida to the, about you know, Camden County, which is the first 40 miles or so. And I got hit by K-Ban, and I got a ticket on K-Ban. So you know, K-Ban is common. Yeah. Uh, and, and the guns are getting uh, you know, extremely sophisticated. And in the case of this, this is a really fabulous gun. I'm not as fan as much uh, as I am on laser, of course, maybe because my my company's into laser. But this is a really nice gun. This is a low-powered gun that only has an eight milliwatt output. Now the older guns, you know, have some of them have much greater uh, output, mm -hmm. and that you know you can get uh, uh, much better detections. Yeah, it's common with radar to be able to detect a, a signal from very far away, even... Right. The, just, you know, here's the, here's the, the dirty secret about uh, radar detectors, in my opinion. All the tests you basically see are constant on radar. Mm -hmm. And even the least expensive radar detectors today can detect well before you get in the capture range. The capture range is about a thousand feet and less, mm -hmm. basically. Fewer than a thousand feet. But sure. if, you, if your radar gun detects at 5,000 feet, uh, and there's another one that detects at 3,500 feet, you say, well, the 5,000 feet's gonna be that much better. Uh, the reality is, in, in most scenarios, just about any radar detector is going to do well. Now, I'm gonna say it's with an exception. Uh, with a gun like this, and I'm gonna talk about this gun briefly, this is, a, a, unlike a, a conical horn gun, this is what's called a patch antenna. It makes it very, very uh, compact. Uh, and this is also polarized. A lot of guns uh, abroad are polarized, and there's a horizontal and vertical polarization, okay? Just like with a uh, sunglass, you know how it reduces glare? That's polarized. Uh, that can make it harder for a detector to detect. And it's interesting, in fact, I'm going to be doing some tests in the future. While this is vertically polarized, I think by default, you know, that's the way the gun's built, which is good for a radar detector. All you need to do is do this, make it, you know, uh, change the polarization. And, and we're going to test the impact. Your radar detector is not looking for that polarization, so it's yeah, much harder it, to it's only, you know, You're going to significantly reduce the range. The other thing I, I find fascinating about this gun is you can do a quick trigger pull. It's called quick trigger. And you can pre-qualify the speed. So I can target a car coming in. And I, you know, I want to visually, a cop is supposed to visually identify your speed and estimate it and then use this to verify. But a lot of cops or uh, police officers don't do that. They just boom, 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 plink away, and they get your speed, and then you get a ticket. But you can pre-qualify a speed very quickly, and you get a speed, even if it doesn't lock in. So you can get a distance speed. Ah, he's going 80, and I'm going to wait till he gets a little closer. Then I'm going to nail him. And it has quick acquisition. Mm -hmm. And I can target this quickly enough where even, uh, you know, relatively good, fast-reacting radar detectors won't alert. So... What you need to really worry about is instant on radar, and it just so happens that Pennsylvania has these. They're super low power. Uh, they run on battery, mm -hmm. as you can see, or they can run on a cigarette lighter, uh, which brings the targeting range closer. But that works to the police officer's advantage because, just like with laser, they can sit in a uh, ambush scenario. They're going to be a little bit more off angle, so you get what's called a, a cosine error that always favor the driver, favors the driver, which you know you may get a two mile an hour 
benefit from that. So mm -hmm. if you're going 80, it may read 78. But he's going to be in a position where he can really hide. And then if he's plinking quickly with a low-power gun, you may only get a thousand foot warning. In fact, I did a video some time ago with a very sensitive detector and uh, it was at night and a, and a state trooper in Pennsylvania was using a gun like this and I only got one tick warning at a thousand feet. Just one bar straight and then within a thousand feet when I got to him, I got five bars. Now, it's what if you're traveling incredible. in traffic and he's um, getting the speed for the vehicles in front of you? Will you still, will your radar detector warn you in time um, or are you, you is there only a problem if you're the only car on the road, for example? Uh, no, I, 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 yeah, certainly with any, uh, 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 whether it's laser or radar, there, uh -huh. it's not 100% with a radar right. detector. So, you know, if you drive with a radar detector, I always say you should be comfortable speeding. If you're going to speed, you should be comfortable speeding without a detector mm -hmm. before you even use one. Uh, because, yes, if you're the only vehicle on the road, or it's at night and you're the only vehicle on the road, and he's being very selective, that first the shot detector's is not going to help you in, in a lot of cases. That's exactly right. And then with a low power gun like this, a car ahead of you can be targeted and you almost get no warning. So, uh, you know, Pennsylvania. So that's the game changer with a gun like that. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think the most important thing is the officer. And in Pennsylvania, since in Pennsylvania they can only use uh, uh, stationary targeting, K band. Mm -hmm. Officers become extremely selective and lethal. And when you're driving through Pennsylvania, you'll often not even get an alert, even when you pass vehicles. People think their radar detectors are not working. But the reality is they're being very selective. And uh, you go to some other states, and just about any other state, you go to Delaware, for example, and they'll leave their radar gun on. They're lazy. You know, you, you drop from a, like uh, Route 13 or Route 1 or something like that. Uh, It'll be 50 to 40, 55, 45, 35 in a town. And all the cop has to do is just sit in the parking lot and run his radar gun. And they do that. Uh, because a lot of people don't drive with radar detectors. Right. They still get plenty of customers. But mm -hmm. if you have a radar detector, any of them, you're going to get substantially enough warning time. So it's really the instant on from an ambush position, particularly at night, where these things are very lethal. And uh, so anyway, that's pretty much it. Well, Bob, thanks for sharing your thoughts on radar guns. Uh, remember, if you drive with a radar detector, be sure to pair it with laser veil. Um, veil works to uh, reduce the targeting distance of laser guns and uh, make your radar detector much more effective, giving you time to react to a warning. Um, it's great seeing you again. It's always great to be here.